I adore strategy games and I'm fond of dwarves. So dwarf strategy by the derivative name of Dwarfheim has enough to hold my interest, insofar as downloading the newly released Steam demo was concerned. It is certainly a pretty game, and if you've had any experience with Age of Empires 2, for example, as I have in my childhood, you will immediately be reminded of certain aspects of the AoE series. The windmills, the farms, the houses and even elements of the interface like resource icons and the piece of ham which signifies unit capacity. These all feel instantly familiar. As far as gameplay in the demo went, there was little of it past the basics. Technological progression wasn't available in any form to the extent that one of the buildings I could construct, a building supposed to unlock specialized dwarven builders, had no function whatsoever. The mode demoed was survival, though I hesitate to call it that, as in the 15 to 20 minutes I spent playing, the three waves of cute but mostly harmless foes I fought did little to no damage whatsoever. As for the basics I mentioned, they extend to two very different layers an overworld and an underworld. The overworld, namely, is the part that is instantly familiar as tribute to the Age of Empire franchise. The underworld is more interesting. You are dwarves, after all, and dwarves love nothing so much as digging through the earth in search of buried treasure. And the mining process caught my curiosity. It goes beyond marking towels for your miners to dig through. This actually includes building what is basically a conveyor belt, a pro processing plant for the myriad minerals waiting to be mined. Something I'm excited about is the sheer number of different minerals and resources to be gained from this, which I imagine will be used for all the advanced units and buildings this early build of the game does not offer. Indeed, if a demo is supposed to excite you for the things to come, the one for Dwarfheim succeeds by a margin, and I'm not certain yet if it doesn't make headway in the opposite direction as well. So many features were lacking, the sound bugged out early on and only kicked in after the first wave of enemies came rushing towards my Dwarven stronghold. Well, stronghold is a bit of a nervous statement. I also think that the construction animations that have a building just sprouting from the ground all ready to go are lazy. I didn't like them in previous games that use the same sort of animation and I do not like them here. Sorry, I know it's a mean thing to say, but I honestly think it's just... You can do better! This demo was as bare bones as you can get. And I would have preferred to wait a few months to see more of these features realized. For all that, there is promise here. I find the two-layered system the game embraces fascinating. Better yet, from the marketing Dwarfheim has so far received, it's aiming to cater towards co-op aficionados. If I understand the trailer correctly, each player will be able to pick a different side of the economy. Military, agricultural or mining. And that could make for an interesting recipe for cooperation and catastrophe. This wasn't a great demo to what I hope will be an engaging, fresh take on the RTS genre. More of an intriguing proof of concept, if anything. Time will tell if Dwarfheim will live up to the lofty ideas it sets out for itself, and whether it will succeed in creating a niche for the kind of gameplay it looks to popularize in the RTS scene. Until then, I'm Philip Magnus, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you like it? If you didn't feel like I did well enough, press that dislike button, share, subscribe, leave your comment down below. Will you be playing Dwarfheim? You will, won't you? I know I will. Bye! Up the